gambler. So you go from security guard to outlaw. I'm pretty yeah. sure your family's proud, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh man. Listen, Christian had to, you know, he was put in some sticky situations, man. He had to do what he had to do. <laughs> I can understand, man. Seriously, though. What made you get into acting in the first place? Um, for me, you know, when I when I was picking my options in, in uh secondary school, um, you know, I really wanted to balance not only my academic work with something practical, but I also wanted to try something new. And uh, performing arts was there, so I thought, let me just try that. I took it on, and I loved it. I loved the feeling of escapism. You know, it made me forget about what I was dealing with in my life at the time and the circumstances that I had to deal with and allowed me to be other characters and other people and explore other themes, you know. And, you know, when you are on stage and you don't have to worry about certain things, you get attached to that feeling of freedom. And yeah, it's just something that I wanted to continue doing. It's something that I've been fortunate enough to keep doing. You're working too hard. You think it matters if we clear this crap up or not? They just want to give us something to do. I'd slow down if I were you. You might burn yourself out. Also, you're making me look bad. What are you in for? I stole some stuff. Yeah. Your character plays a kleptomaniac <laughs> this series, but I read somewhere that you're actually the complete opposite, to the extreme even. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I mean, I've never stolen anything. Sorry. <laughs> What's your question? Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, right. <laughs> what, <laughs> what kind of preparation did you have to do for this character since, you know, you were the complete opposite? God, that's such a good... That's such a good question. I, God, it was so long ago because we we got the job like before COVID and then we had such a long period off and then we came back and then we shot two seasons back to back. So my prep was mm -hmm. kind of, I think mainly just trying to remain sane okay. because it was just so, it was so like, it was so, it was so all consuming and then so, so on and off. I remember I, I went to Oxford when I got the job because my character went to Oxford, uh, like w got into Oxford University. And so I went to Oxford and pretended to be like a prospective student and did like a tour of the university and then like bought merchandise and then like sent pictures to Stephen. And, and I did that just before COVID. So that was fun. That was a fun little character thing to do, I guess. Is that where you got your Oxford bag from? No, I think they didn't let me use it because of like copyright or something. I wish. <laughs> in the uh, in the series, there was a uh, part where you and Gamble were talking, and you were mentioning types. Uh, to my understanding, there's twelve archetypes. You have, um, I think it's the hero. You have the creator, the explorer, the ruler, every man, the jester, the innocent, the magician. Of course, ironically, the outlaw and, of course, the hero. Where would you place yourself in one of those 12 type personal uh, archetypes? Oh, my God. You're going to need to say them again. Creator, explorer, yeah. ruler, hero, every man, a jester, sage, innocent, magician, and, of course, outlaw. Every man. Just every the every man. <laughs> All right. And again, of course, based off what I've read, I think you would pick hero because to my understanding, it's your dream to come to America and star in a Mar Marvel or DC film. So it I guess is. hero hero would be your your best option. Um, I was oh well to be to be fair, I was gonna say um creative outlaw. Okay. But um yeah, we we can go by hero. <laughs> That's You're a hero. You're such a hero. It's safer. It's safer. It's safer. <laughs> well, Rianne, in all honesty, based off what I watched, you're a hero too in the series. There was yeah. a lot of things that you, you know, there was a lot, a lot of saving that you did as well. Yeah. In 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 TV, I can be a hero, but in in real life, I'm just pretty boring. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
one last thing, Gamba, this is for you. I also read somewhere that you were a big fan of Padronio Jelly at a young age. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, wanna, yeah, yeah. We going to talk about that, or we just sort of... Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to let Google Charles, that. man, what you doing, man? <laughs> Charles, what's going on? <laughs> I had to ask, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a that was a darker time in my life. Yeah. I, was, I was like, I was like, I was like three, I was like three or four. Um, yeah, I'll, let's leave that one there, Charles. <laughs> we'll leave it right, leave it sit right there to the side. We'll touch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, Rihanna Grant Gabba was great, man. I please appreciate you. And it was a pleasure. You all take care. All right. Lovely Thank to you, meet Charles. you. Lovely to meet you as well. Take care.